Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your ASUS computer. So whether it's a computer, desktop, laptop, tablet device, and you're having issues on your Windows 11, Windows 10, or Windows 8, or Windows 7, honestly, computer, and you're noticing it's a slow boot up, it's acting very unresponsive, programs are crashing very frequently, that sort of thing. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a hopefully pretty straightforward process of how to resolve that and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to right click on the Windows Start button and select the Task Manager. You want to select the Startup tab and now generally you can disable most of the applications listed in here unless it's an antivirus or perhaps you use OneDrive or Dropbox regularly. You may want to keep those enabled but generally speaking everything else can be turned off. You're not actually uninstalling or quote unquote disabling them. You're just removing them from booting up every time your computer turns on, which should definitely improve the boot up time. And you can still open up the applications as well. It's not like we're actually removing them. And if you ever change your mind, you can just come back in here and then re-enable them by selecting it, whatever the program is, and then select enable. That's the first thing I recommend trying. Next thing you should do is open up the search, type in apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. Should be the best match. So you can go underneath your apps and features list here and just go ahead and select the different programs you no longer use. So definitely a way to free up some hard disk space as well as a lot of programs that will have different tasks that run in the background. So by removing the program, you'll remove some of those tasks which should also help speed up your computer marginally as well. Close it here. Something else you can try as well would be to open up the search menu search. Search for adjust Best match, come back over adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set this to adjust for best performance and select apply. Now, if you notice there's some visual effects you'd like to turn back on, you can just customize it by checkmarking certain boxes in here and then selecting apply. Again, you can customize this. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing, but you can generally find some happy medium between adjusting for best appearance and adjusting for best performance. And again, select apply. And okay, once you're done with that, Something else as well, if you open up the search, type in control panel. Best results should go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select power options. You want to select high performance. If you don't see high performance, you may have to show additional plans. So high performance favors performance but may use more energy. So if you're using a laptop, this may be more noticeable on your battery usage. However, if you're on a desktop, it shouldn't be nearly as noticeable. And even on laptops, if you want to get more out of your device and hardware, set it to high performance. So again, something you guys can try. Something else I would recommend doing as well would be to open up the search again. Type in disk cleanup. Best results should come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. Select where it says cleanup system files. And then you want to select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and open up the search, type in defrag. Best results should come back with defragment and optimized drives. Go ahead and open that up, and then select optimize for your system drives. If you have multiple drives, you can select multiple ones here, but we're just going to select one at a time. Once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search, type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scanl. Scanl should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, so there we go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.